morning. Oops, sorry. Happy Friday. I think I've I have Thursday. <laughs> morning, Siobhan. I think I have Thursday on my Facebook. Yeah, I do. I do. How is everybody doing? Let me see. Can I change that? Uh, yeah, I can actually. How's everybody doing? How's your Friday morning going so far? Um, <clears throat> While I'm at it, I may as well write. Um, I've actually lost track of my days. So it is um, for this Miracle 7. So today would be um, 5 and 5. It's probably around day... I haven't been putting in my days. Morning, Susan. Nice to see you here, Susan. I haven't seen you in a while. Um, okay, I'm just going to put in done. So how's everybody doing? How's your Friday going? Um, I was on the 555 this morning listening to Tom and he was on about response um, or reaction. And it was very uh, appropriate or fitting, whatever the word is for me, because yesterday the kids um, had a bath while I was on a call up here. And I think that's great now that you keep them occupied while I'm on this call because I was doing um, a Healy healy um, scan on somebody so um the last thing you want is to be interrupted because you know we're focusing and we're morning shelly we're focusing on um, on that person and um, we're concentrating on her being well and uh yeah so i love to have them kind of doing something so they were in the bath and when i went down there was literally more water on the floor than in the bath and that's not an exaggeration. They had been out of the bath, so there was two naked kids sliding all around the floor. There was puddles, like, I think it was maybe 10 large towels later. Yeah. Missed my first 555 in 53 days due to meditation in bed first, and then fell back to sleep. Dangerous meditating in bed. Yes, Siobhan, I gave that up. I had to give it up uh, because, yeah, especially on, um, especially on these dark mornings, um, it's too easy to fall back to sleep. So I do my meditation when I come up here. That's when I do it. Um, I usually have 20 or 30 minutes after the 555 um, and in between um, my reading um, the decision chapter with the girls. And that's when I do it. So yeah, yeah. Now this morning I actually didn't. What was I doing? Um, oh yeah, I was getting welcome packs ready for um, my new customers, my new oily customers. Um, so I had to get that done because I know I'm going to town today to post them. So um, yeah, so I'll do it after this now because the kids will still, still won't be up. So uh, yeah, but he was talking about that. So when I um, when I went down to the kids and they had water all over the floor, I was thinking, right, I, I, I could feel it building up. I was thinking, no, there's no point in reacting. Like in fairness, they had all I could hear was they were laughing, they were in stitches. All they wanted to do was get back in, and and, and then I dried them and got them dressed. And then I was going jumping on another Zoom. Like so, you know, I had very little time. Um, to do all this but you know the place is such a mess and uh, morning Marie so um, what I did was I just took the treats away for um, a week uh, I just put them all into a bag and I didn't um, it, it like they look back on that and, and see it as um, a good thing you know and they laugh at it so I didn't want it to be and uh, turn into a negative thing now Hannah did come to me I'd say twice feeling really bad I didn't want that to happen um, and she obviously did that because I took the treats away so she knew then it was something really serious so morning Olivia so that's why she did that so um, it's you know I, I don't know, I could have easily, and only for this material, morning Elizabeth, I could have easily just, morning Marie, um, shout it, I could have just, um, I don't know, I easily, if without this material, I, I probably would have, um, I probably would have done a bit of shouting, just to kind of thinking that that's teaching them a lesson, but it's not really, like, you know, as Tom was saying this morning, there's good and bad in every situation, and we need to get into the habit of saying when something bad happens, we need to get into the habit of saying, that's good that's good that's good and um, there is a video on youtube by earl nightingale i love it and i think it's only a few minutes long and it's so good i'll share it on here later and uh it's so so good so it's um it's basically you could even just search for it, um earl nightingale that's good and that's what it's called the video is called that's good so it's um it's it's worth a watch definitely um but yeah so it just it's just funny because 
it just changes the whole situation. The whole situation could have been so, so different. But now our level of awareness has completely changed. Morning, Alan. Morning, um, our level of awareness completely changed. So we, um, you know, we, we, we respond um, rather than react. And, you know, kids were happy, they had a ball, but they know not to ever do that again. And they have learned a lesson. So there's a lesson learned. No matter what it is, there's a lesson learned. So it's the law of polarity. There's opposites. There is always opposites. Where there is a good, there has to be a bad. Like a book, there's a front, there has to be a back. There's an inside of the book, there has to be an outside of the book. So it makes sense when you're looking at something physical, but with situations when you can't physically see a, a situation, um, there is good and bad in every single situation. It's the law, so there has to be. So instead of always concentrating on the bad morning margaret um, concentrate on the good and every time and, and like we're only seeing it as bad it's just our perception of it it just is everything is energy everything just is so that situation yesterday just is and i'm made it bad my perception of it was bad because i had to go and clean it all up but their perception of it was really good so it's good and bad in absolutely every situation and i did look for the good and um the floor was nice and clean afterwards <laughs> but I'm looking at it now um, this morning and it's not really no and there's a ton of towels and I'm like I'm gonna have to drip dry them and so just going to the laundrette today <laughs> so, yeah I didn't even think of that <laughs> great idea so I hope they're open anyone know if the laundrettes are open <laughs> and I'll just go in there and get them washed because yeah it'll take me days otherwise to drip to drip them drip dry them and then wash them because they probably break the washing machine if I put them in like they're literally dripping I was literally picking up the towels with picking up the water with the towels and uh, um, popping it into the, the, the bath popping it, popping it into a basin so I can't even carry that basin up to the kitchen so yeah I think that's that's the, the plan for today so what do you do in a situation you know if you, if you see it as a bad situation do you react or respond um I suppose, thank God, they're healthy enough to make the mischief. Absolutely. And I was saying it on our mastermind last night. So every Thursday with the TI, with the Thinking Into Results group, I do a personal mastermind. And I was saying, I was telling them about it last night because we go through our wins first. And my wins were, um, well, my, my gratitude journal and, and my healing and stuff like that. But I also mentioned that. I said, that's definitely a win because I didn't react and it didn't you know, affect them in a negative way. What did they do? I missed that. Oh, they literally took most of the water from their, their bath out and put it onto the floor. And they were sliding all around the floor. Like there was puddles on the bathroom floor. So yeah, I didn't see it as funny at the time. I'm laughing about it now, but but I did I was just saying, Elizabeth, that I didn't I didn't react and start shouting, which I might have done before, but because my level of awareness has it has changed now, um I I just kind of saw it as as a lesson and i saw it as a, as a lesson to teach them as well not to do it again so i took the treats away for um uh, for a week and i have them in a bag up here and i'm like i know that won't last i know it won't they've caught they'll talk me around but even if i just do it i did it for like they had nothing nothing yesterday now they don't eat much treats um but they do like um something nice after their lunch and maybe you know especially at the weekend so i'd say i'll probably give in tomorrow but if i even keep it going today um i'd be happy with myself <laughs> but I say they'll, they'll come around me I can I can see it happening but anyway what harm but that they've definitely learned a lesson and Hannah had, did come back to me twice saying she was sorry she knew she think she knew but it like you know I just wanted them to look back on it as you know as a funny situation as well and not as a negative one so um yeah so that so just you know let me know what what would you do in that situation um good on you thanks Elizabeth what would you do in that situation what would you know would you respond or react um um because like any time I've ever before they say and if I ever kind of shouted um at them for something there was always regret afterwards like do you have that as well you know I always always was full of guilt afterwards and this was before um thinking into results this is before I knew any of this material you know you kind of think it's the right thing to do you know they have to be taught a lesson they have to be taught never to do that again so the best thing to do is to shout and they'll remember it then but probably react <laughs> yeah elizabeth um i know i know you're just joined thinking into results so your awareness will change as well so you know things will things will start changing for you and you will see the good so with every bad situation get into the habit of saying that's good that's good because there is you may not be able to see it straight away but there is good in that situation um, and it can be very hard to do that sometimes, especially, you know, what happens is we get this, it's like a wave 
of emotions. But when that happens and you lose, you, you know, when that happens and you go off the head or you start shouting, you're losing control. Your paradigm has control over you. The situation and your emotions have control over you. But stay in control. To stay in control is um, not to let, not to react. And when that wave, stop it and say, okay, that's good. It's good. It's good. I know. It's not easy. It's not easy. But um, yeah, let me know what you think um, in the comments. I'd love to know what, what you think of it. Uh, morning, Emery. Uh, morning, SMC Bridge. <laughs> I can't read Bride. I can't really read it. Sorry. Um, but apologies for yesterday. I got cut off. Oh, my God. I saw, I saw all these things coming up on the phone and on the laptop thinking, what is going on? And um, there's no more comments coming in. And basically, the internet just went down, just went down, and even my data wasn't working. So, Liam did a reset on the modem, and it was working because it was great that he got it working because I was doing an onboarding call. Two new ladies started thinking into results yesterday, and we had the onboarding call um, arranged for half eight. So I was thinking, oh no. And one of the ladies had um, a newborn, so she was saying half eight is when he's in bed, um, and uh, it was ideal. So, it, was, it worked out well. I was able to do the call, and everything worked out, thank God. But yeah, it was was very strange very strange i'd say it just maybe needed to be reset the modem or whatever so so apologies um if you were on yesterday and um, you can see that it just kind of cut out i think it was after after sending love or something i had definitely picked the oil i picked um pink pepper but um i can't remember where it was after that but it wasn't too far after that but i suppose we got the most we got the, the gist of it we got the, to write our list um but yeah so speaking of writing our list i think we should get started so yeah i'd love to know what you think of that um let me know and um what do you do in that kind of situation so Thank you so much. If you're on and you've got my journal, Elizabeth, I know you got one. Um, I, I yeah. Thank you so much. I I do love them. Um, and there are more coming, but um, I really do appreciate um anybody that um morning Lindsay that anybody that um has has purchased one and like this the the more and more coming and the link I shared yesterday actually I think isn't it wasn't a, even working right because somebody got back to me saying they couldn't put in their details um so I was changing it last night just um updating it last night and I think I think it's okay now I actually didn't check it this morning yet but I think it's okay now so if anybody wants the link um let me know and um the gratitude list is basically what we talk about here you're writing ten things you're grateful for you can write your goal as well and then um you'll be quiet for five minutes and ask for guidance it's in love to those who bother you that's all written here so to help you um with your morning routine and so you know what you need to do and then five compliments to yourself in the mirror and i think it's nice to write them down because um you remember them and you're creating more energy than around them and then your wins um for the day so and then there's a little quote after each day so um yeah, so let me know if you want that. Uh, and uh, um, and also I wanted to say as well, I keep forgetting to say this, um, Sylvia, my mentor in Thinking Into Results, is, um, will order today, please send me, oh, thanks, Claire. Yeah, no problem, of course I will. Um, um, my mentor in Thinking Into Results is doing a five-day masterclass next week. Um, most of you are probably on in the group already, but it's called... Um, uh, oh god achieve the impossible achieve the impossible masterclass next week um, starting monday at 11 um for five days so it's diving deeper into all this material um all bob proctor's material and how to achieve the impossible how to achieve your um your big fantasy goals and um, it kind of gives you like a step step by step um process on how to do that so let me know as well and i will sh i have shared the link on um on um my Facebook, but um, in Instagram, you can't really share a link. So, you know, if you're watching the replay or if you're on and you're not part of the group, let me know and I will send you the link. Okay, let's start writing our list. Okay, perfect. So today is the 22nd, isn't it? 22nd, yeah. Okay, perfect. So today I'm grateful for. So it's written already. I'm, I'm used to writing the... Today I'm grateful for. So it's written at the top of the journal already. So, um, yeah. So we write the first one is always Bob Proctor's one. So I always stretch myself to achieve what I want. Rather than what I think I can get. Thank you, God. Thank you. Thank you. Perfect. 
Perfect. Okay, so we'll try and write at least seven more. Don't worry if you if you don't. It's good to write more later, and um, and keep in that attitude of gratitude all day long, and 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 feeling grateful. And remember, with every um, gratitude you write down, feel it. Thank you, God. Thank you. Thank you. And really feel how grateful you are. Okay, how's everybody getting on with your list? Any questions or queries, just pop them in. Okay, we'll write a couple more and see how we get on. Okay, perfect. So at the bottom, for this and for more, I am grateful. Thank you, God. Thank you. Thank you. Perfect. Alrighty. So I always say if you haven't got them done, even if you have them done, you know, maybe write a few more anyway, even write one more, two more, uh, maybe around lunchtime or three or four in the afternoon, because it's a lovely thing. It's a lovely thing to do to keep, you know, keep that. I was talking to Wendy and um, Deirdre this morning, we were doing our um, uh, decision chapter in Think and Grow Rich and uh, um, Deirdre is a teacher and she was saying that she t she's teaching her kids, <laughs> her students, um, uh, gratitude and uh, she's kind of t doing it she did it with them yesterday and they're all like it just changed their mood the mother got back to her later and said god it just really changed their mood so she was thanking her so it's such a lovely thing to do it really is um okay so now we're going to grab oh yeah grab an oil we're on cue couldn't think of anything with cue anything even around Q. so if you know anything and marie you're on can you think of anything with Q? I went straight to r to rose oh, i love rose put rose on my face it's so good for your skin. It's a really high vibration oil. So if you want one, if you want to stay on a high vibration all day long, it's really good. It's good to put it on top of your head, connect you to divine. 
Um, I don't really want to put it on my wrist. I have my wristbands on. Do my um, a program on the from the Healy. I'm doing a call, it's called Pure. I didn't even test for it. I didn't even analyze see if I needed it. But Pure helps to re, uh, get rid of toxins from the body, from your environment, um, and from processed foods and you know anything. I was thinking after Christmas, yeah, I could probably do with that. So uh, rose, the uh, emotional benefits of rose. Um, so it's the oil of divine love so lovely okay so it holds a higher vibration than any other oil on the planet it's powerful healer of the heart it supports individuals in reaching heavenward and connecting with divine love so if you're feeling bereft of divine love constricted feelings closed or broken heart lack of compassion or wounded oh so lovely and um, help you feel more loved compassionate healing tender-hearted accepted empathy receiving divine love so so lovely so um it comes in a neat form as well which is i think 300 and something euros and this is the um the, uh, no i'm pretty sure there is none with q okay good uh love the idea of the kids uh doing gratitude great idea yeah now i had my kids doing it as well but they get up so late now it just goes out the window they just it's just ridiculous like it's crazy like they should be doing it every day um but the kids the kids do love it and it really does help but i did notice um they, they were doing yoga yesterday, my two. I was like, oh, okay, that's good. And they did it completely off their own bat. It, it came on. Um, they kind of, um, as part of their homeschooling, it says Cosmic Kids, I think it is. And they had it on yesterday and the lady on it was doing yoga and Hannah joined in and it was lovely to see. So they have their first Zoom today, first school Zoom today. Hannah's so excited. And um, they have to talk about one thing, show their whole class one thing and say three things about it. And Hannah wants to show Chester the dog I'm like oh my god like he's not going to sit still they probably won't end up seeing him but she does want to talk about Chester today so um she's so excited so excited um so rose the spiritual secrets of rose um inside every rose bud beats a heart of beauty a symbol of love its fragrance touches our hearts and it sends a vibration of love from the rose to ours rose is often accomplished by sensitive poets and who understand the language of this flower. Rose always seeks the inner poets within us. Rose oil can lift our vibrations of trust and beauty. On an emotional level, the oil says, I love you more than you love yourself. We are beautiful beings on earth. The scent of a rose can travel great distances, bringing the energy of peace to people's minds. There is nothing more uplifting for troubled souls than rose essential oil. In nature, rose um, is known as the queen of the bees it says let me take care of you let me soothe your pain and all your senses so you can see yourself as a divine source within my petal petals lies the divine trust in beauty oh so gorgeous so so lovely um so that's rose okay so let's send love to people that are bothering us so if you know somebody frankincense is the king of oils but rose is the queen of oils so your choice um uh, covers q and r oh yeah it's the queen exactly thank you alan brilliant um perfect um okay so let's in love people that are bothering us so if you know anybody that has done something to you in the past and you need to forgive them or um done something to somebody you love you need to forgive them you need to picture that person standing in front of you white light going from your heart to theirs and sending love such a powerful thing to do um so we just close our eyes and only takes a few seconds and it's nothing to do with them it's all about you it's making more space for positive of energy inside of you um and helps you to move on helps you to get on with your your life and it doesn't pull you back sometimes when we have a, a negative um a negative thoughts of somebody in our head or resentment or hatred or anger or whatever you know if they build up inside us every so often you know it's pulling you back to that situation and instead of moving forward um it's pulling you back and you're back in there kind of like being in, in a prison so this way it helps you to break free of those thoughts break free of that person um and just forgive and that way you can move forward and and, um, and achieve all your goals okay so uh, let's close our eyes and uh, picture that person standing in front of you white light going from your heart to theirs and sending love and then we do it with another person and then we do it with ourselves and I'll prompt you along the way Perfect. So when you're ready, move on to person number two.
Okay, perfect. And when you're ready, move on to yourself. So picture you standing in front of you, white light going from your heart to yours and sending love. Okay, perfect. So now we ask the universe for guidance. So this um, is a way of helping you follow your intuition. So just ask the universe to um, um, guide you um, with something, something you need guidance on or need to make a decision on. You know, it could be what's my goal. It could be... Um, it could be anything, making a decision on doing a course or, or, um, or, or a picture or on, on a wall or the colour of a wall or whatever it is. It could be anything, big or small, but ask a good quality question, you get good quality answers. And these answers come in the form of flashes um, or, you know, something you might read or a video you might watch or, um, you know, somebody's face or, or name coming into your head. 800 hours. You take, action, you take action on that and that's called, those are called inspired actions and that's what helps you get closer and closer to your goal. So, um, um, so we just close our eyes and just ask the question and then let it go don't be thinking about it all day long where's my where's my answers where are my answers because you're not in a relaxed state we have to be in a relaxed state the mind and the body has to be relaxed and then they'll come they will come um, and be open um, be open to possibilities and ideas and opportunities and all these ideas and inspirations come come to you morning fiona come to you um as the day goes on so um if you're if you're open to them and if you're in that relaxed state okay so we just close our eyes and ask the question okay Okay, perfect. So I hope that helped. And um, any questions or queries, you know where I am. And uh, yes, head over to your mirror now and give yourself the compliments. Look into one eye. I love you. You're perfect as you are. And at least three more compliments. And then into the other eye. I love you. You're perfect as you are. And at least three more compliments. And do that every single time you see your reflection. Give yourself a little compliment or say some affirmation or say an I am, whatever it is. And remember, you know, stand straight, shoulders back and kind of, you know, have that stance because that can make such a difference to your day. And you know, I am having a productive day or you know sometimes we can get up and we're tired and we're kind of like oh you know and things don't go well from there on in but I was actually talking to my accountability buddy yesterday we had a zoom yesterday um she lives in Canada and she said how she was doing it as well and it just made such a difference she was on this high vibration all day long so it really does you know especially you know if you're on your own or if it's just you and the kids um just do it all do it in front of the mirror it's so lovely it's such a brilliant thing to do so thank you so much, everyone. And I will see you tomorrow morning. So tomorrow's Saturday. So tomorrow I'll be back on at nine and we do some visualization and then we write our gratitude list. So it's nine tomorrow morning. Okay, everyone. Thanks so much. Bye.